Hey guys, also being here and welcome back and we're f it's today, it's finally today, new Doctor Who, Legends of the Sea Devil. So yeah, first thing first, happy Easter, I hope you're all having a great one. Um, so yeah, currently um, I'm very looking forward to this episode, I hope it will brighten up my day. I've not been too well mentally for like a past while, so I just want to put that out there just in case. But yeah. I really, really excited at Jodie Whittaker's penultimate episode, so I'm hoping it delivers. You know, I, I really want to see Jodie Whittaker shine, because I think she is a marvellous doctor, and I just want to see her do more. But, um, yeah, last, um, last episode was the Dalek episode, Time Loop, and I really did like that episode. Um, I, I thought it was a nice, fun little adventure with um, the standout being the... Irish woman Sarah. Uh, she was great. Um, I would love to see her as a companion. Um, so yeah, I think what the main focus apart from the Sea Devils coming back is gonna be the whole 13th Doctor and Yaz's relationship. Whether it will be... we have two episodes left, whether it will be resolved or not? I don't know. My general thoughts on it are... you see... I can't really form a to me I I I can't form an opinion until I see the whole thing. So how it's gonna end ultimately is how I'm gonna really feel about it. But so far, I'm not really sold on it. As a queer person, I'm just gonna say I deserve more and I deserve better in terms of representation. representation. The scene with Yaz like acknowledging her feelings, I thought that was great. I really liked um because God knows she needed like her own little moments and I, and, I, and I thought it was nice um, her not really acknowledging that and then having to come to terms but what I didn't like was Dan outing her to the doctor it's like he's like Tiaz tell her how you feel and then he just goes and straight tells the doctor why? why would you out never out someone it's not cool plus he doesn't know what the doctor's feelings are and I think that's my main issue with the Yasmin and the Doctor relationship. I personally think it's just not very greatly written. Yeah, it feels very one-sided with just Yaz. We don't really know, well, uh, me personally, it, it doesn't really seem all that clear whether the 13th Doctor likes Yaz in that way. I know a lot of people are hoping that they kiss, and it probably might happen because that's what the fans or the shippers want. Um, but I wish Chris Chibnall spent more time actually developing their relationship and making a bond because it doesn't feel like Yaz and the Doctor really properly know each other compared to other companion di dynamics. So I think it's, it's just kind of frustrating that if it is required and the 13th Doctor does like Yaz in that way why wasn't it showing more? You know what I mean? Like, why couldn't we see that rather than the first team doctor just treating Yaz terribly? Maybe this will wing, wing me around. I'm hoping it does. You know, again, I, I want to be wild. I want to be for it. I, I want to be, you know, invested. But with two episodes left, do I want to make the, the commitment to be emotionally invested in this? I don't know. I think I rambled too long. But yeah, that's just my personal opinion on that relationship. But let's see how it pans out. And again, I'm hoping for the best for Jodie. Um, having met her in February, she is lovely. She, she's lovely. I have like a little photo of her. Like, look. And you probably can't see it properly because I look awful. But no, she's, she's lovely. Jodie Whittaker is just... She has the exact same energy levels as 13 in real life. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. I said stop. You're a bit late, mate. You're a bit Your late. Sword of my neck. Dan, hurry up. Damn, 13 look hella fine in that. Just gonna put that out there. What are you wearing? <laughs> what she gave me. <laughs> yes, did you dirty, Dan. She what did you dirty. Much? Damn, look at that nice redesign. Sea devil. Land parasite. <laughs> Alright, 
Harrison. When did they come up with that plan? Oh dude, you're dead. IP random character. I did not know you. Oh, it's just gonna do that. I heard some people refer to, to an old Doctor Who monster, but I'm not um, knowledgeable on what it is. Seventeen? Sixty? <laughs> oh, she's two. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Negotiations went well then, Dan. You're wrong, 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 wrong. What's he doing? I mean, that's the trouble with history, never anything like the books. Same with Stephen King movies. We didn't get the <laughs> no. But we did get something Madame Chin doesn't have. Okay. That's the most random. <laughs> Damn, that's beautiful. Oxygen bubble. And a spectacular. Okay, that's my favourite shot right what there. That's beautiful. What? No ship, Sherlock. <laughs> Not even the tiniest sign. Where's the ship? It's only been 274 years. Oh, poor you. Poor you. Yours is just like... I cannot. The exact coordinates where it went. I'm sure she has eyes, Doctor. It's not really there anymore. <laughs> the door. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> See, but then I just downloaded an app on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand half the words you say. Oh. Is that yours? <laughs> what? She's got both. <laughs> you wanna know why I'm on this ship alone? My crew were taken. By now, you have no status here. I'm not quite sure about the way the mouth. Anyway, we well, you. not moves, but kind of. We were searching for a lost ship. Was that how they always spoke? I'm not. Named Jihon. Ever heard of him? What do you know of Jihon? We know you. <laughs> we know. Yeah, last. Yes, yeah, just let the doctor do this. Oh wait, did she just say Geronimo? I got that reference. Yes. So your mate. Yeah. We like Dan. Your life. We don't disrespect Dan in this house. She should just do her third job, doctor, and just go. <laughs> Yeah, no shit, Doctor. I don't think they want to do that. Ow. Oh, go down! Yo, what did she- did she really use the sonic shirt? Ooh! You didn't have to kill him! Um, yeah, he might have done. That what I said to you. He might have done. Done. Oh, no. Something. She said something to you. Dan's a gone a bit. She said me. Oh, come on. Oh, no, come here. Damned. Oh. Um. Where did you learn to deal with your enemies like that? You should meet me, Mum. So did he just commit murder? Are they dead? Is the doctor just gonna be like, you, Dan? What? <laughs> Thing is pretty casual about people sacrificing themselves for her. Have you noticed it's a running theme? Oh, come on, Doctor, you've, you've fixed a lot of people. That's what my life is. No, of course. 
Well, I've said I want to. The doctor doesn't like endings. And this one's coming sooner rather than later. No life. Ah, so the Daleks are back. The Cyber- that- the long Cyber one's back. This is the day you die. Okay, the master's back. We all fair knew that. I haven't heard from the Doctor for nearly four decades. Just because it's only three decades. Ace! No way! No way! No way! Ace is back! Ace is yeah, back! Ace is- oh my god, she's one of my favourite classic companion. I love Ace. If I could play a companion, it would be like her. The third team doctor and Ace are gonna meet! So yeah, um, it was a nice little self-contained episode. Like, I'm not wowed by it, but I didn't think it was terrible. I, I thought, like, it was nice. Neat. It was nice to see the Sea Devils back, but I wasn't sure every time they talked they had this weird effect with the throat and it kind of reminded me of that, you know that like a random filter effect where you just like move the like expand and it like makes the area just like magnified. I didn't really like that effect. I just would have preferred if they did not have any effect at all and you just like barely see like just maybe a twitch of the uh, mouth moving because like the animatronics and the the effects of the eyes moving and all of that that was great so to me you didn't really need to add that effect I think it kind of looked a little bit funny especially when every time he spoke his little necklace around the sea devil's little thing would flash kind of like the dialect -like light would flash every time they would speak that's just my little nitpick I thought that the design was great but I just didn't really like that effect. It kind of like made me think, oh, it's a bit weird. But yeah, um, some really, really nice moments. Um, the whole Doctor and Yaz dynamic, like I said, to me, it doesn't feel like they have a strong bond for me, for me to pull this off. As I keep saying, it felt, it, it, it always felt very one-sided with Yaz. And like to me, the doctor admitting that oh she would under different circumstances. Why didn't we see more of that developing from the doctor's side? Um, but it it was nice that she 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 did mention River and all there. And that the doctor, you know, it it reminds me of the whole tenth doctor and Rose. Um, you can spend the rest of your life with me, but I can't spend the rest of mine with yours. Um. So it was kind of like a, the, the, this, the doctor kind of gently let Yaz down. I thought that was nice, but I think they could have went more into it. I, I feel like it was kind of dis, disjointed, like they were trying to tell this, but they kind of left it really to the end. Like we only got one episode left to really truly uh, finish this whole relationship arc and I just want more. Um, so it's nice that they are starting to address it and you know but it, 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 it is kind of weird the doctor always falling in love with their young companions. I would like a different dynamic although as a queer person I am happy for queer representation but I just want it to be more, you know, no beating around the bush, no no toying, you know, make it be, people complained about the Tang Rose being in your face, you know what, do that, do that with Doctor Who's first queer Doctor and Companion, make it like that, make it a whole thing, because like, but it, it, it does make me worry, then how will Yaz leave the Doctor? As we seen in the the trailer thing, the doctor was saying Yaz as, as she was regenerating. I, I, I don't think Yaz is staying on. I think Russell T. Davis will have a clean sweep, and once and once Kang of thirteen regenerates, that's it. You won't really hear Yaz mentioned in the show anymore. So, will Yaz die? 
I'm hoping not, because like I don't want this to be another bury your gays trope. Whatever Yaz identifies as, it, it, it doesn't really matter. We don't need to put labels on it, everyone. But it would just be a foul taste to have another queer companion die. We had it with Clara and we had it with Bill. Please not, can we not do this for Yaz? I think because the doctor's kind of trying to let her down gently, Yaz may just leave like Martha Jones um, you know I think they might not leave on bad blood I think Yaz may thank the doctor for everything that she's done and for giving her confidence and then she goes off and live her, lives her own life whether or not da, uh, Dan will live or not I have no clue but I think it will be nice just to not have companions just die could it be just great just to them to go Thank you, Doctor, for all that you've done, and then and then they just live their lives happily. You know, some sometimes that's nice. It can't be all doom and gloom. But yeah, as far as the episode went, you know, it's pretty enjoyable. Nothing standout, outish. Uh, the effect, a, a, a lot of the effects were great, and I did get a little bit of Goonies vibe, especially with the um, the pirate ship underneath and going through all these places it kind of felt like follow this treasure trail get to that um but yeah i think the main takeaway point of that episode is the doctor's and yaz's relationship and it'll be interesting to see how chris chibnall will wrap everything up hopefully good but i will say it didn't really feel like the second to last episode of a doctor that's currently going to leave. That's what... Like, is the next episode just a one-parter? Is... I, like, I, I think it is. I was very sure that this episode was going to end on a cliffhanger. But, surprisingly not. It was just a nice little self-contained episode. Maybe that's better? But maybe... Or maybe I'm just too used to all these big arcs when a doctor is leaving and they have these like two park finales but no but yeah that's just my opinion stuff so, but yeah quite enjoyed that episode i'll be interested and in see how it will all pan out but yeah those are my just honest thoughts about everything so yeah post your comments down below how, what you thought and i shall see you next time peace